Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I have got a haul. I've done some shopping for the summer and looking for some inspiration, misguided, eBay, oh, super drug as well. Those who can afford design stuff nowadays, nobody. I'm just going to show you guys what I bought and if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to give it a like. Put down below your favourite thing or item that I bought. I'm going to try on some of the clothes that I show you guys, not all of them because like who's got time for that but give it a like comment down below your favorite item and don't forget to subscribe because i am trying to make new videos every day on this channel because it is summer making a conscious effort to put more like content out on this channel and because i'm starting to lose subscribers and you know i see you <laughs> the people that answer sub and i see you but we're going to gain new subscribers this summer as I am uploading every day and I'm start off with the first thing that I bought which was basically not everything is what I bought online because I went shopping you know in real life and I went shopping online now this is the stuff I bought like when I was at the shops which was a couple days ago so starting off with this top from New Look and it is this I think it's called Bud Bardot top I think it's like a trend this year, this summer, I can see everybody wearing this and it was £15 or £14.99 Now I really like the colour because it's like red and stuff because it's red I don't really like the colour red normally I normally go for like lighter colours like pink and stuff I don't even wear colours in general I'm just I normally wear like really dark colours but because it's summer I don't want to be wearing like dark colours in summer, it doesn't really make sense because you'll be sweating everywhere but um, this top something different, I don't really have tops like these I also forgot to say that like I'm trying to change my style I guess, I don't really know what my style is but I'm just trying to change outfits that I normally wear maybe try and wear something different note these glasses just trying to like change a bit you know because as you get older you don't really want to be wearing the same things that you wore like when you were like 12 you know you want to change so I think I might try it on to let you guys know how it is I think it looks kind of nice like it's baggy so it doesn't like you know it's not like super cropped Sometimes I feel like Ken makes me look like a grandma, but you know, we'll look past that. And the sleeves are long. It's just nice. It represents summer because of the colours and has flowers on them. It's really pretty. Yeah, I like it. I think it doesn't, it's not really like revealing, like it's just, you know, here, yeah, like the shoulders. Obviously, you can't wear this to school. I mean, I could, but like, you know, shoulders and everything. <laughs> but I think it's a nice top, and I would recommend you go get it if you want it. It's only £15, so for the price, I think it's pretty good. The only thing is, if there was something I could change, was maybe like this line here, because I don't really like the way it looks. I think it looks really cheap. So, like, if they could fix that part there, I would say this top is pretty really good. But for the price, like, I'm not even complaining, I think it's like a really nice top. £15, I think it's pretty good, like, for the price. So the next thing I got, and I said I wanted to try more colours on, but this was too good a top to not get in black. And it was... Is this choker top? I, I think I might try it on again to show you because you can't really see. Here's like the choker bit and then his zip being the jig. It looks kind of scary but when you try it on it's not that bad. I got it from Misguided. It was £20. I don't know whether like it's worth £20 being honest because Misguided could be a bit expensive for like no reason. It's just the top but is it really worth £20? It is long sleeve, it looks like there's no sleeves but it's here and um, yeah I like the colour, I like the style of it, I like how it's like the top before where it's like 
the shoulders. You can see the shoulders, but it's it's cool. It's not like revealing. Like I was on pre little thing and I was looking at tops like that, and they had like really low like necklines. And sometimes it's a bit, you know. I get you want to show the shoulders. I get it. If I'm being honest, I would have preferred it without a zip because it's just a bit annoying having to like zip it off from the back. I'm not even gonna lie, like the choker reminds me of a dog collar. It's it's like some chokers are nice, but then some are just like the so like some are nice but some are just remind me of collars and like dog collars and they're not so cute. Like this top. But I like it overall. It's not too revealing. You can see about the shoulders, but that's really about it. Um I like the line here. It's not like the other top which looks a bit cheap and like tacky but this one is fine I mean it looks nice it's casual it goes down to like like you know the waist so it's not really short which I was very happy about because I thought it would be like tiny because normally when I get stuff from online shops they're like I don't know because I don't consider myself tall but I but they're just really short don't know why most of the time they don't even go past like your stomach sometimes with these t-shirts but it's fine it's not cropped so I'm happy about that the back looks like this with the zip which is really nice it's like casual dress down but it has like a sophisticated edge to it I like it which is my first ever like choker top so um, I'm pretty happy with it considering because I've been wanting one for like a really long time so the fact that it actually looks nice and it you know fits well definitely recommend it critique anything though I would definitely say the price because being £20 it's a bit like why £20 is it really worth £20 if they could lower it to like 15 or 10 maybe not 10 15 I say is reasonable worth the price and everything not worth an extra five pound that's the only thing I'd critique but overall I think it's a really nice top you could wear it anywhere you could style it with anything it's just perfect honestly next is a skirt that I bought it is like olive green I really like the um the colour because I don't have any green things because from day to day basis I don't need the colour green so I thought I'd try something different and get this colour this is also from Misguided and it is I can't remember how much it was I think it might have been 20 as well I can't remember it's, I got it in a bigger size than I normally would I can't remember why I think I think there was no size before or I just I wanted it to fit because I I don't think I've ever gotten a skirt from an online store before so even if it was a bit bigger I wouldn't mind and with this being a skirt I think the bigger the better in my opinion because I don't really like really short skirts and if it's like really loose and like fitting I think it's really good I don't know if I can be bothered to try this on to be honest but it looks like this and it is really thick I like the material it's like stretchy it, it's not tight like I've tried it on before and it's not like you can't move in it you know the skirts where it's like the material like sticks to your legs so you literally just can't move but this one is like really flowy and you can walk around in it and you don't feel like a fish <laughs> you don't feel like a fat fish just like walking around in it but I think I think it's nice, you know. I remember I saw someone wearing a skirt like this in like um, a, like a cream colour and I was like, that's a really nice skirt, like I want to get something like that. And that's why I picked it. But I didn't get the same colour because I didn't. I don't think they had any cream, they had like white, but I didn't really want white. So it's something that I haven't opened yet. This is also from this guy I did. And to be honest, I don't know why I ordered two of the same things, but this is... Um, Apparently the same skirt but in black. Oh I know why I did it, I forgot. Because I had I got fishnets. I got these fishnet tights. 
and I know the colour is a bit like whoa but I mean I really wanted fishnets and I didn't actually want this colour I wanted um, white because if you know um, Simply Nessa I saw one of her pictures on Instagram I might insert it and I saw her white fishnets and I was like oh these are so paying like I want one like like ones like that but um, on Misguided I saw I saw one for like the same price this but um, one of them said that they had really bad size and they couldn't fit so I got this instead um, fishnets are only one size which I find so annoying you know what is one size I mean people have different body types just because it's one size doesn't mean they fit everyone that's why I'm a bit cautious with stuff like this but they fit it's fine it's cool and this is why I got the black skirt because olive skirt and red don't look good together, they look gross. So I want the black instead because I thought it would work a lot nicer. And this is the same skirt and I like the elastic here, it's cool. The material is really weird, it reminds me of like PE shorts, the ones that schools will give you because you know when you don't have any, like a PE kit and you have like lost property, reminds me of that, really weird, I don't like it. But if I can get over that, I think it's a really nice skirt. Compare this to like that, but I like it. I'm probably gonna wear these because we're going. I'm going on holiday, so I'm probably gonna be wearing that a lot. And these tights. This. I also haven't opened this. I think this is mesh. Skirt. I didn't really know what mesh was. Be honest i just saw it on like i mean now i know but i saw it on the website like ages ago and i was like this looks so good like i want to wear this but this is huge oh my gosh i don't know what size this is it's a 14 why is it so big i think it's meant to be a dress but um these like tops are like see-through but they work well when you're wearing like a nice dress or a nice t-shirt and they're kind of what people wear to the beach and just in a really hot like climate it's like misguided and I can't remember how much I spent on this I think it was 15 maybe I hope because if it's any more than 15 then my wallet is probably gonna cry I don't really know what else to say about it it's black see-through it's a mesh top I also don't know about washing this because I have a feeling like showing the type of material is very easy to hand wash but yeah um, I'm very excited to wear this I think it would look so good with the tights that I bought I feel like they would go together really well this isn't something that I bought online but it was something that I bought when I was in New Look I think um, this is one size once again but I have a huge forehead so like things like this do not fit me which make me so upset because I love bandanas but they just don't fit me sad times but I had one in black and I have one in red I bought like a bunch ages ago from Amazon but they didn't fit me so um, I bought this instead this um, I made a video about like natural hairstyles and I use this and I think it's really pretty I've tried it on I like the colour I like how it's like like brown and like neutral it's not flashy you won't see it from miles away but you're in all black and then you add this it gives you a bit of colour I like it I like the design I like the patterns I mean I could look like I'm part of a gang <laughs> but Let's get past that. Add this to your hairstyles. Not even to your hairstyle, but even to an outfit. Like if you want jeans, you can put this in like your pocket. You know how some people do do it to look cool. Just put this in one of your back pockets. Yeah, that is all I got from Misguided and New Look. There's something that I ordered from eBay. I ordered two things actually. I can't see in these glasses. I ordered, I literally can't see, 
actually so pink. I ordered these glasses. Now I know they look kind of tacky. I know that's the first thing I thought when I saw them. I was like, ew, these are like the types of glasses that you see when you're like six. Like these types of glasses. But I think that's the whole point. It's meant to be tacky. It's meant to be, you know, early 2000s. It's meant to look like that. But once you tie it on, you realise, you know, it's actually kind of pain. Kind of. Though it does look tacky. Um, once you get over that, I think it looks really cool. They're meant to be sunglasses, they're meant to be trendy. I see a lot of people wearing this on Instagram, and that's where I kind of got the idea to get them because I saw everyone wearing the white version. I don't remember if they had the white ones on eBay, but I got, ended up getting the red. I thought about the pink and the green, but you know, I thought about all the stuff that I bought on that like, Sky, and I was like, pink like sunglasses and like a green skirt that just wouldn't work it just you know you end up looking like Nicki Minaj her early Barbie days making up it pop you can wear red you can wear black you can wear pretty much anything really and they look really good and because once again going on holiday I think this would add to an outfit and I recommend it it was only nine pound as well which I found so cool because um, considering everyone's wearing them, I thought someone might, you know, just up the price for the sake of it, make it like £20. <laughs> They're actually really cheap, so I was really happy about that, and I think it's good value for the money, so I recommend you go get them. All I really, I think I typed in like oval sunglasses, like vintage sunglasses to get these, because they they don't really have a specific name. John Lennon inspired. Um, were one of those things that came up to get these but you know go get it I recommend them they're nice they can add to your outfit the makeup that I bought now I want to be doing more like tutorials on the channel so I thought about getting more makeup and I haven't gotten makeup for like ages maybe like a year or something because I just get wearing the same old makeup but I'm gonna start off with a foundation I bought was this um i don't know if you can see i think i have oily skin i used to be told i had dry skin but i think just as i got older my face got oilier so i mean because this is made for oily skin i feel like this was perfect and i tried it on it matches my skin and you know as a black person finding foundation that matches your skin is like mission impossible out there especially in drugstores because they don't for some reason I think because of how cheap I mean pff, scratch that drugstores aren't cheap but I got this from boots so boots are like I rate boots more than I rate super jug because super jug is just expensive as hell for no reason especially if you live around here the super jug is so expensive but um, I rate boots more they're a lot cheaper they got good makeup that actually matches your skin so this is, like if you're my skin colour, I definitely recommend this because it goes really really well. It does, I mean on camera it looks a lot darker but when I put it on it looks fine, honestly. This highlight, which keeps dropping everywhere. The only thing is about super drug delivery, I don't know, whoa, it keeps spilling. I don't know if this happens to everyone who orders from super drug but um, it came in broken like the foundation I mean this highlight came in broken you can like see the broken pieces and you can hear it it's, I don't know I don't know if I could like get a refund or just complain to be honest I don't really see the point because like I've already paid for it but the pieces came in broken that kind of sucks but apart from that I don't I haven't had any problems with this I've tried it on I mean it's not, this was, I'm going to admit, this was like £3, £3, it was cheap, very cheap. I was looking at highlights and honestly they were like 30 plus and I mean I didn't want to spend £30 on, on highlights that basically I just, I don't think it was worth spending £30 on highlights, I just didn't see the point but um, I went with this, it was only £3, 
So I'm not really surprised it came broken, but this is pretty crap. I mean, from what I tried, not much colour came out. It was very, like, dead to me. But I've also learnt not to trust Instagram because this is my first time actually getting highlights. And seeing pictures on Instagram with the girls, like, highlight just popping from, like, miles away. And you actually put on highlight for the first time and you're like, you know, this is going to turn out good. My highlight's going to pop. I'm really like those baddies on Instagram and then you just put one little like scratch and then it's like you can't even see it I was like what am I even putting on my face I can't see anything that's literally how I felt but I was like these girls enhance the highlight on their face most of the time so you can't even trust like what you see also got this um mascara you can't see but it says um voluming volumizing mascara it's apparently waterproof, but I like the colour, I like the packaging of it. The only thing is, it's, this was a bit dry. I mean, you could even hear, it's so dry. This mascara is so ashy. Like, what are you doing? I don't know how to describe it, but, but when I put it on, it makes your lashes look a certain way. But I also got this cleansing water. Um, I didn't really mean to get it in this bigger size. I normally go for like the smaller versions but this is the only one that was there and I find it so much easier than using makeup wipes because a lot of the time they irritate my skin and they hurt they literally burn I remember the one time I put on makeup and I tried to take it off and I got like flashes and it burned my face I mean not actually burnt my face but it just like my face felt like hot and like it was horrible, I just hated it and I was like, I'm not going to use wipes, I'm going to use this cleansing water, which is so much better. What they call those like, pads for your face, so they don't recommend using wipes, which I'm just like, yes, thank god. But this is honestly the best, if you want to try to get rid of your makeup, the best. I've talked about this before in like a video like ages ago, but this Garnier cleansing water is bae. It like, removes your makeup and it cleanses your skin I mean what what more could you ask for I don't know like I said before I wanted to get more into makeup and create more looks and I thought blush would work really well in my opinion I don't think I really need blush to add to their look so I definitely you definitely see me wearing this more often this which is a blush palette to be honest I don't know why I, had, I got two different types of blushes that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't know. It's called Sugar and Spice. I really like that. I'm a sucker for packaging and I love this packaging. I love the black and the gold. It's like different types of pink. It's like light pink, brownish, like autumnish pink. This actually looks like spice pink. I really like it. And considering this is like drugstore, I mean, for the price. This is under £10, so for the price I think it's pretty good. Cheap. It's nice, it's pretty, what more could you ask for? I don't even know. Oh yeah, I don't want to confuse you guys. This is what I got from Superdrug, not Boots. And this is what I got from Superdrug as well, not Boots. This is from Boots. And this is a eyeshadow. I like the colours. I thought they were really pretty. They're like glittery, which is something I've never used before. Glitter colours, party type eyeshadows. You might think you might think I'm just being extra for no reason, but I like to experiment with colours. So I think it's nice, it's pretty. It's eye catching eyeshadow. I've used this colour before. It's like bronzy colour and it looks really nice on my skin. I recommend this palette. Especially because it's drugstore once again. It's really cheap. Good for the price. You definitely see me doing more looks with this palette. Lastly, I think I got this for contouring. I don't really remember because I, I would never get three different types of blushes. That just wouldn't make sense. But I remember them, them saying this was a, um, you could use this for like contour. So I think this is why I got it. And I love the colours. They're like neutral. They're not too flashy and out there. But it seems like a good palette. Once again, it's drugstore. I think I got this from Super Drug. So I think it's cool. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a like. And I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye!